You guys, it's a revved up short. Rodney Rodriguez on a Thursday. What is it today? Thursday, August the 7th. I think that even casual NASCAR fans, I think even NASCAR fans that don't even like to watch NASCAR anymore, so they say, are ready to get back to racing. And that's exactly what's going to happen with the NASCAR Cup Series as it's back on track this weekend, hopefully at Richmond, at one of the story places, at one of the really cool uh, short tracks that the NASCAR Cup Series has to offer. And and I say hopefully because obviously with the weather, uh, Debbie, come on, Debbie, Debbie, what are you doing? You're killing me here. Hopefully this race gets in. But it is time to go back after a two-week break for the NASCAR Cup Series after the Olympic break. And the Olympics have been fun to watch. But uh, I myself am ready to get back to racing. And I think that, like I said, even the folks that don't care about NASCAR Cup racing are ready to get back to Cup racing, if anything, just to sit there and talk shit about it on a Sunday. So we're going racing this weekend. One of the things that came up this week as we start leading up to the return of NASCAR Cup Racing. What's going to happen with this 2025 schedule? That's been something that has been going back and forth for a while. Who's going to lose playoff races? Does anybody lose playoff or does anybody lose races? Are we going to one race a track? What what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, we still don't know, but it seems like this week uh, maybe a little light's being shed on what's going on. As we saw a report on Wednesday with a possible playoff scenario for 2025. And again, this is a possible playoff scenario. This isn't anything that's been reported, that's been confirmed. But you would look at round one being August 31st. This all starts August 31st, 2025 at Darlington. Then you go to Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. And then you end up at Bristol on September 13th. You go into round two after you knock four of those bad boys out of there, and you go to New Hampshire, then you go to Kansas, and then you go to the Charlotte Roval, which jumps back into the force right there. Round three, which is that round of eight. So then, this is where it gets just a little bit interesting, because you go to Vegas, never a bad stop right there. Then you go to Talladega Super Speedway. How about that in the semifinal round? Talladega. The track that just loves to chew you up and spit you out as a semifinal? Interesting. Martinsville would stay that race before the end of the season championship. Talladega and Martinsville back-to-back. I like that a lot. (laughs) I like that a lot. I think some people don't like that a lot. I'm not sure why. If I'm a NASCAR team, I don't like that a lot, especially if I'm on the cusp of trying to get into that final four. Uh, Maybe I don't like that. And then you end up at Phoenix. That's what's been thrown out there. And again, these are all just speculations. Speculation is going to continue, and we'll continue to do that until that schedule actually comes out. And that schedule should be coming out very, very soon. Also, in that proposed schedule, in that hypothetical schedule, which that's what all of this is, you've got Mexico City in there. And a lot of folks with the going outside of the country, Canada, Montreal's been thrown in there, and Mexico City. And a lot of folks are like, why would NASCAR go there? Well, you know what? The demand would be there. A lot of the American racetracks, I mean, folks like to talk about, well, you have to cover the bleachers. You have to take seats out. You have to do all of this. It's just good business. If you have somebody that wants your product, you're going to go see them. And I have a lot of friends in Mexico it, within the racing business that would love to have a NASCAR Cup Series race in Mexico City. And I guarantee you that would be a hit. And if it does indeed happen, it's something that would be very interesting to see. I don't know. I'm just ready to get back to racing. And it's all this weekend, hopefully, at Richmond. As we get going once again, Olympics have been great. We've got a little bit to go, but it's time to go racing this weekend as we get down towards the end of the 2024 season. Who's going to be the cup champion? I don't know, and I don't even really care right now because we've got regular season racing coming up. I invite you, please like and subscribe this YouTube channel. It is the Revved Up Sports Show, and of course, you can catch the Revved Up Sports Show live cast every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Central, 7.30 7.30 p.m. Eastern at RevedUpSportsShow.com and every major streaming provider. 
We'll keep you posted on what's going on with the NASCAR stuff and everything else. Hashtag Real Race Talk. Enjoy your race weekend, friends. It's just good to go racing once again.